Grace and peace, everybody. Welcome to part number three of our five-part series, talking about dealing with difficult passages. And today, we want to talk about determination and patience. What role do they play in dealing with difficulties? And so we pray, Jesus, that you would speak to our hearts. Amen. Dealing with difficulties. Difficulties are a part of life in a sinful world. So rather than spending our time and energy trying to avoid them necessarily, let's, let's first learn how to overcome them. Because if they are inevitable, then let's realize through Jesus that the victory is possible. So when it comes to determination and patience, determination is making that decision to hang in there. The decision to be patient because nothing great is built in a day. Nothing, anything worthwhile, anything that we admire or anything that we look at and we just in awe, it doesn't happen in a day. So what God wants to do with you and how he wants to bring you through, sometimes there's that moment of healing, but more often than not, there's the path of healing that's longer. It's, it's, it's more time consuming, but the blessing is, it's also character forming. It's character shaping. And that's why the Lord decides to use both. So when he makes a decision to take us on a path, be willing to walk that path. Because when you look in Galatians 6 verse 9, we're encouraged to not be weary in well-doing. Don't be weary in walking the path. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Seasons are a part of God's creation. And he gave us these phases of development or these phases of life to, to help us to see that we often are in phases of lives. And when we're in these phases, don't get so caught up in the cold of winter, because no matter how bad winter is, unless Jesus comes, spring will be spring will happen. Even in the worst of weeks, even in the coldest or rather the hottest of summers, blazing sweat rolling down the back of your back. How hot can it be knowing that that season is going to give way to the cool of autumn or the cool of a fall? When we understand that all around us, we've got to believe that within us and not faint. Don't give up just because a time is hard because that time will not last forever, whether it's good or bad. So don't faint. Hebrews 12 verse 2 says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction against, a rather, such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest you be wearied and faint in your minds. What's the part or what's the, the point of Hebrews 12, 2, 3 here? Look at Jesus. Look at how Jesus, how the Bible even says, he, he tread the wine press alone. He had to walk a path by himself. And now as our trailblazer, as our forerunner, he comes now. And like those men who were walking on that road up to Emmaus and they were confused and didn't know, you know what was going on. Jesus walks with them and he talks with them along life's narrow way. But they had to keep walking. They had to keep going. And you and I have got to make that same decision to focus on Christ and on what he did, not just on what he did, but even on what he's doing, what he's done, sitting at the right hand of God, our high priest looking at us saying, keep walking. I'm here. Let's keep going. You're walking to me and by my spirit, I'm walking with you. And so when you get to Revelation 14, verse 12, those who have made it a habit, those who've made it a life of walking with Jesus as they walk to Jesus, here is the patience of the saints. Here are they. I love it because it's not just one, it's they. You're never alone. You might be a remnant, you might be a few, but you're never alone. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Again, it's all about Jesus because it's all by Jesus. We talked about this in our last Sabbath celebration during Change Fellowship, by Jesus. In the moments and in the, the days and the months and the years that seem to take so long, by Jesus. By Jesus, you can finish the race because he's standing at the finish line. So you know there's an end, you know there's a consummation, you know there's a goal because Jesus is standing at the goal. If it wasn't possible, 
if it didn't exist, you wouldn't see the finish line. You wouldn't see him. Look at the finish line. Don't look at your feet. Don't look at who's around you. Don't look at what's behind you. Look at Jesus and see him standing where you're going to be and see him walking with you to get you there. With this kind of, of determination and patience, we can be assured that Revelation 14, where it says, here's the patience of the saints, because that is where we will be.